The importance of an excellent <clears throat> pre-flight briefing, what should it contain? So normally, uh, if you look at like, for example, our lesson plans or lesson plans, like these guys are in class right now, online people online, uh, they still have our lesson plans and they're teaching from those. And those lesson plans are pretty lengthy, right? They cover everything. There's a club that includes the theory, if there's any of that to do, like aerodynamics, it'll cover how to do the procedure or maneuver, it'll cover a risk management, some questions for the student, completion standards, common errors, all of that, right? So that kind of lesson you would give to us on a check ride, because it proves that, that number one, you can deliver a lesson, a complicated lesson, or some takes a period of time. And it also proves out that uh, you know the material because it's kind of has everything in it, right? But on an actual flight, you may not want to do that because if a student has already done a ground school and it's been recent, or they've done self-study or, or, or they've done an online class of some kind, they may know this material pretty much already. You just need to do a pre-flight briefing. So as an example, <clears throat> if you work at a big 141 school, and I was the chief pilot of one, I can tell you that I told all my flight instructors, you were to do no ground, zero. That's for academics. They take a ground school, that's what it's for. If they have a question about academics, let's take them to the academics department. All I want you to do is fly, fly, fly. So give a pre-flight briefing of about 10 minutes, not more than that, maybe 15 on the outside, right? post-flight briefing, and then the flight. So just sausage making. Here's six students here, boom, here they are. Go make it look like sausages, right? By the time it's done, that's the idea. Because the, otherwise the factory will slow down, right? We won't be able to turn out the students. <clears throat> so in that case though, you do have to have a way to give a pre-flight briefing and, a, and the post-flight briefing is just an individual, right? So what does a pre-flight briefing look like when you're not the one uh, have done either the academics or they've done that already, right? So that is what I wrote this book for, Teach Brief Fly. So that's why we, we, these aren't part of our, our course because they're, uh, you're teaching, you're doing the full on thing. So you, you don't need it. But uh, so let me, this book is in three parts. The first part of those lesson plans I talked about, which you all would have if you came here. But let me show you the, so you know what those, well, I'll just show you one. Then I'll show you what the, 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 the same one looks like in a pre-flight briefing. So let me grab it here. <clears throat> all right, so it takes steep turns. <clears throat> Again, my nemesis, so I pick it. Okay, so steep turns, this is a lesson, full on lesson, right? <clears throat> so if you're here, this is what you've got from us. <clears throat> so you have an objective, motivation, a presentation, it's 20 minutes, and then you have, uh, tells you, and these have been test time tested. So if you do it in this order, it will work out. Key points. And then you have uh, risk management here. Then you have an image, sporting image for every maneuver. Questions for the students, <clears throat> ask them. And we don't provide the answers because we figure you should probably know that, right? <clears throat> and then uh, common errors. And then finally, the completion standards and some, and some uh, <clears throat> extra artwork if there, if there needs to be in it. <clears throat> so that's what's in there, right? So that's what you give if, no, if they had no ground. But if they've had ground school, or if they've uh, done an online course and they're like 40s has a pretty good section on flight maneuvers, uh, then you don't have to give the whole thing. You would just give the pre-flight briefing. So let's go on to that. So those are gonna look like this. So we have another section which is just pre-flight briefings. So here's the one you give on level turns. So this is the artwork you place on a whiteboard. And I drew all this, so I know you can do it. Um, the perspective was hard but for me, but I, I had an illustrator clean it up. But <clears throat> basically that's the stuff. This is the procedure and you put, for your airplane, if it's different, you put out here, but this is basically things you're gonna teach. And this is what you'll teach right before you go to a, to a lesson. And if the student has had the benefit of this, then it will really make for a good lesson. The other thing you wanna do, so the other thing we wanna do is after this thing is done, you'll want to see with the, you'll demonstrate it with this airplane and you wanna see that the student can demonstrate it back to you with the airplane. So if you're not doing that, start doing that. So as a, as a student, if you're, before you go to the airplane, pick up the model airplane and see if you can fly it and describe what you're gonna do. If you miss a piece or two, it's gonna be okay. You'll get it with practice. But if you got the big pieces, all of that, then I know you know. <clears throat> and then I know that you know, and then we can go and have a chance of getting a pretty good lesson out of it. But if you pick up this thing and you don't know where to start, then we've gotta, we gotta redo. We gotta reset, gotta watch some videos, gotta do something before you go in the airplane. So, so that's what I, and even kinesthetic learners like that, that's kinesthetic learners, people learn by doing. So they learn, they like that because they're able to pick up the thing and model and, and say how they would do it. So that's what this is. The other part about this book is at the back of it, 
This has never been done in this country before, never. <clears throat> well, except for during the second, after the Second World War, the military did it. So uh, in the UK, there's something called a pattern man. <clears throat> and what it is, it's a, or we, they're a sequence card. So it means that if you look in a logbook that I would sign, if I did straight level flight, it would say in your logbook, it wouldn't say straight level flight, it would say EX exercise six. That's what it would say. Everybody in the country does exercise six the same way because there's a set of sequence cards that say, do this, do this, do this. This is what to say, here's what to do, here's what to say, here's what to do, right? And there's a pattern manual, and pattern means it's talking. Uh, we, this is a word that kind of doesn't fall well on our ears, so we don't use it in this country. But uh, so there, I said, well, I'll just use the pattern manual from there. <clears throat> That'll be great, except for it's too lengthy and it's not in the style that we're teaching. So I just rewrote it and put it into our own American style of doing things. So this is uh, this one is what to say during each maneuver. So, so this is how you set it up. <clears throat> and this is what you say while it's going on. So you can chair fly a lot. Right, so if you want to polish your flying, you can do that. So that's so that that teach me fly has four lesson plans, whiteboard drawings for the pre-flight briefing, and then the what to say in the airplane. 